Hello everyone, Inventor719 here. In today's video, we are going to be making a freeze ray gun. Now for this project, the main component you will need um, is computer keyboard or electronics compressed gas for cleaning. This is called Dust Blaster. I got it for $4 at Dollarama. Of course, that comes with a little tube for the nozzle. You will also need any type of toy gun. Wooden plastic, I have this one I got from the dollar store as well with that some tape and some hot glue. Now before we get to building the actual project, first I'm going to show you a bit of the fundamentals. Now this stuff you have to be very careful with as it says it is flammable, inflammable and content under pressure. It's also pretty toxic which I think is why they have stuff like this on it. So anyway, when used properly like this, it is compressed gas for cleaning dust off of surfaces. But when used upside down, I'll show you closely here, it emits a liquid, and that liquid, it's not liquid nitrogen, I don't know actually what it is, if you know what it is, comment down below, but it is freezing cold, as you can see, there's like little bits of condensation, almost looks like snow on the end of the nozzle, after just one push, there you can see it building up already. Now anyway, that is the main fundamentals of this project. Before I show you the final revision, I thought I would first show you guys what I was going to do. I was going to make it a little more complicated, and here's one of my spare guns I had. So I cut it in half, and as you can see, I cut a little notch out of the tube or the top. And my plan was to insert this into the top as such, so the original barrel could be reused. But there was two problems. First problem being when you pull the trigger, this moves up and down, so it would hit the top of the barrel. Second problem being that I was going to be using some string to wrap around the trigger on the can to the trigger it's missing right now on the gun, but the loops didn't work. It was a little too complicated, so I'm going to show you guys the simplest way to do it. Hope you guys enjoy, but if you want to do it a more complicated way, please feel free. So this will probably be the simplest Inventor 719 video ever. To build your freeze ray gun, simply take the tube that they provided and stick it in the end of the nozzle. And you could technically be done right there, but I like presentation personally. So with this little gun, I'm going to stick the tube through the hole in the sight. And then use some hot glue to affix the head of the nozzle right there on the gun. So there we have it, believe it or not, it is all done. Now of course, unfortunately the trigger does not do the freeze ray, that is for this button here. But since this was originally a dart gun, the nice thing is, is that it can still be used as such. So this trigger does the dart gun and this one does the freeze ray. So as always, let's do some shooting tests. So today we have a very different type of shooting test. As you can see, I have a sheet of paper on the right. And I have a dart loaded and of course my freeze gun. So first we're going to try and freeze the piece of paper on the right and then shoot it with the dart. And then on the left I have a few surprises to show you guys what the freeze gun can do with some fruit and vegetables. So here we go with the sheet of paper first. First let's give it a freeze. Oh, our barrel popped off and it fell over but let's shoot it anyway. Alright, let's move on to the fruit and veg. Before going up close with the fruit and veg, I'd get, um, I thought I would give you guys an idea of the up close of just the freeze ray shoot, shooting into the air. So let's aim at that cardboard printer box over there. And here we go. As you can see, it leaves a spot on my printer box. Believe it or not, you can kind of scrape that like you would ice. Maybe let's bring the box a little closer here. I'm just going to shoot the black part. As you can see, it is frozen. Let me show you with some vegetables now. Now our very last test. As you can see, I have an old soggy piece of lettuce and a mushroom. Let's put them together. This is going to be up close, but you can do it far away too. Let's give them a freeze and test them out before the mushroom's nice and squishy as well, by the way. Try not to touch it, it's really cold and you might get frostbite. So there's after a few seconds of spray. The mushroom, I can barely touch it, so cold. 
but it's rock solid and the lettuce as well can just crumble in your hands. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There it is, the freeze gun. Not too practical since the trigger doesn't work, but it looks pretty cool and you can still use the dark gun features. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.